Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's election day, and if you haven't gotten out of bed and turned in your ballot yet, it's not too late. In Colorado, we are fighting for our lives, literally, for the health and safety of the community uh, anywhere in our state. Oil and gas sits under our earth two to three miles underneath. And oil and gas companies have established the idea that no matter where they want to, they should be able to drill. Recognizing that even in the city of Denver this year, there have been reports of spaces that would not be safe from fracking in our state, in our city, if we don't put 112 as an affirmative, as a yes. Don't believe the hype of the Democratic Party, which has, in many cases, said no. Uh, its members, from uh, Jared Polis running for governor, to our uh, beloved Fracken Looper, who, remember, said no on 64. Do not legalize cannabis in the state of Colorado. Uh, now he's being championed as a cannabis hero. Uh, the reality is, is that he was against it. And he, like so many of our paid uh, politicians, you get to the top and you get comfortable and... Uh, you just got to say yes on 112, right? Don't believe the hype. The $22 million plus that's been spent in the state of Colorado uh, since May, right? When uh, oil and gas companies hired firms to hire youth, minority children, giving them sheets of paper that cited false laws, giving them authorization to violate the electioneering process. That's a lot of words, but basically what it, what it means is that uh, youth were hired, paid hundreds of dollars a day to fear monger, to intimidate, to, uh, to play the part of naysayer uh, during the fun-loving, citizen-led electioneering process uh, to participate in the ballot. Right, you have to start with a uh, long time ago. Ann Lee, Suzanne Spiegel, many of the uh, original, uh, you know, crews that have been fighting for so many years. Three hundred and fifty Action, uh, three hundred and fifty Colorado, three hundred and fifty Action Colorado, uh, all the organizations, Food and Water Watch, that have been stuck on the the realities of. Um, protecting our earth, of protecting our water. These groups started a long time ago to get this on the ballot. Uh, I, members of the environmentalist of the human community here in the state of Colorado, uh, through volunteer efforts, through paid efforts, let's be honest about it, uh, not everybody can spend their days uh, participating in the activism. There are some people who must pay their bills uh, and others who will donate to that effort. And I am definitely one of those who put food in my belly, put shoes and clothing on myself, put socks and underwear on other human beings because of your financial efforts. And I want to say thank you for all of that, uh, for those of you who are part of that. But the reality is, is that, uh, that the other side is well much more well funded uh, and they they hired these children to follow to stalk to violate um, laws that are greater than free speech the electioneering laws in the state of Colorado um, greater than soliciting there's a reason your phone's been ringing that you're getting people knocking on your doors because the election process as deemed by the founding members of this the United States of America uh, valued the election, valued the vote so much. Abraham Lincoln was the last third party president in the United States of America. Let that sink in. Abraham Lincoln was the last person who was voted as a third party representative to change the way the country is. 
Maybe we should have hawked on that a little bit more this year, but maybe that's what we need to do for the next election. We need to recognize that we need a new party. Um, here in the state of Colorado, undecided or undeclared voters, uh, equal or matching either party, Republican or de Democrat, in our state for voters. There's a lot of stuff going on that you all really need to be awake, you need to be aware. Um, and I want to take five minutes, six minutes, maybe ten minutes, uh, to thank everybody. There's so many thousands of people who have been knocking on doors, who have been getting signatures gathered, who have um, been using their voice to educate about all kinds of issues in our state. I've got 200 employees, people who worked for uh, Direct Action Partners, for... Uh, private signature gathering firms who have not get been fully paid. People who tried to put health care fairness on the ballot. People who uh, put uh, payday loans, Prop 111, on the ballot who have not been paid for their signatures on this election day. They're still waiting for their, for their money. It, it's not Colorado Rising um, fault. Let's face it, uh, and I want to make this a public record that's very clear. To the best of my knowledge and understanding, Colorado Rising has paid all of their bills. And uh, they have been honorable to the cause, to, the, to a fault. Um, you haven't seen big plastic billboards posted everywhere because they're not environmentally conscientious, nor are they affordable. You haven't seen uh, 15 million tons of paper being put on every person's door in every person's mailbox, regardless if you answered it or opened your mailbox or not, if you even live there. These are the wasteful ways that uh, oil and gas have polluted our planet this election season. Let's be true about that. The DNC hasn't been that great about it either. But knowledgeable, sustainable organizations have been focused on recycled paper, wind-driven factories, soy-based inks that are non-GMO. Uh, we've been focused on water bottles for every human being that are sustainable because every single piece of plastic is oil and gas. And if you don't recycle everything that you use, you're destroying the environment. Every time we go out to eat and there's styrofoam or plastic silverware, all of this stuff is oil and gas. Uh, it's the reason that our climate is changing. It's the reason that I left the planet, uh, the, the planet, the reason that I left the world as I knew it for three years uh, on a journey to explore the world around me and to be a different person and to make different changes is because oil and gas is everywhere. Every time you buy a non-sustainable Starbucks with a plastic lid and a plastic liner inside the paper cup. Uh, these things are not effectively recycled and they're all part of the oil and gas around us. We need to change every part of our consumption system, folks. Every part of it. Uh, and we only have till 2030 to get it done, roughly. But really, it's sooner than that. If you don't change today, it's, it, it's getting to be too late. Um... When we buy groceries and we use throwaway plastic bags, even when we vote on Yes on 112, we're supporting the oil and gas company that companies that are polluting our planet and the processes of it. Together, we must not only use our voice as our ballot, uh, our vote, we must also use our voice as our vote to, uh, as our ballot for change, to... Uh, decentralize the funding around the consumption patterns that we're already using, right? By riding mass transit, by voting here in Colorado for people like Chantel and uh, Julie who are running for school board or for RTD districts in um, A, B, and C. Uh, Julia Stewart, Chantel, I think her last name is Lewis. I can't remember right now. There's so much going on in this head. Uh, we got to support mass transit, right? That's why we're voting yes on 110 in Colorado and no on 109 because we need to keep bike paths and we need to keep uh, mass transit systems uh, in the financial plan. Fixing our damn roads is not the answer. Fixing our consumption patterns is a more full thought process. Uh, 
Folks, this is about 10 minutes. There's a lot going on, but I just want to give a shout out on this election day to everybody out there. My name is Brian Loma. Cut the Plastic uh, is where you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. I am a member of Colorado Rising. I help to defend Denver, to occupy our streets, to uh, repeal the urban camping ban, provide food, clothing to those who need it on the 16th Street Mall throughout the community. Uh, I'm an activist at large. We don't want you to drink sustainable uh, systems of destruction. Unsustainable systems of destruction, right? It's too late for me to fix that error. Anyway, uh, we want you to drink sustainable water. We want water fountains and toilets available for all to use in a responsible manner. Just like we want people to be able to have jobs, to have food and clothing, uh, clean air to breathe, and clean water to drink. All this is important. It's how you vote. It's how you live. Join me today in making sure that the ballot is uh, filled and that Colorado's voice is decisive. Vote yes on 112. Vote no on 74. And come follow me if you're still watching this. Thank you.